Hello and welcome to my very first Minecraft Hardcore Survival. I've never survived in a hardcore world, so I thought, why not start out strong and do it in all the mods 8? I know, I know, it's a terrible idea, but hey, that's what I'm good at. I decided if I was going to do this, I wanted it to be spectacular. And in order for it to be spectacular, I was going to need a house, and no little mud hut was going to cut it. I needed Grand Designs level of crazy. But first I had to find a suitable location and get to work on my living quarters. I'd barely begun my search when I noticed something in the sky. So I got a closer look to see what it was and... Well... Um... Yep. Nope. That's... What... What is... What is that? Yeah, look, I don't think I'm ready to investigate that just yet. But I marked it on the map so I can revisit it when I'm a little more prepared. I found the village and started searching through their belongings because I need it more than they do. And they were hoarding probably the single coolest item I've ever seen. An umbrella! It has unlimited durability, it acts as a shield, and it allows me to float gently down from high areas. Continuing on, I found another little village, although this one was abandoned. So I decided it would be a good location to sleep for the night. However, that did mean killing these poor innocent little no! sheep to make a bed. But this was hardcore, so I wasn't left with much of a choice. With my bed crafted, I found a building to put it in, and... Oh. There was already a bed in here. Guess I didn't need to kill those sheep. Once the sun had risen and my umbrella was in hand, I was ready to push on once more in search of the perfect location to build my home. I found this really cool magical forest and collected a sample of wood just for the future home and kept on traveling. Seriously though, this umbrella is insanely cool. Honestly, I really love it already. I spotted a house in the woods and I thought I'd investigate it because apparently Hansel and Gretel taught me nothing at all. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, jump scare, run. Safe from the hunt of the pillagers, I found it. I knew the moment I saw it. These giant spires were going to be my home. They were so epic and, oh my god, this zombie is ruining the moment. Please just be gone already. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 I am out. Okay, anyway, yeah, epic stone spires. Time to get to work. Do you ever have a really bad idea and then just do it anyway? Because same, it was getting dark and instead of sleeping until morning, I decided to go mining. And it went very wrong, very quickly. <coughs> this skelly made it his life... Oh, sorry. Touchy subject. Made it his mission to ruin my day. <coughs> Hello there. But the umbrella said nay, not today, Squire. Not today, Sans. Today you shall have no victory. I managed to box myself in and get some precious hearts back, but I still needed more food. That shade sounds safe to eat, right? Yeah, no, that was incredibly dumb. While I was waiting for the sun to rise, this mini-boss decided to spawn, and honestly, it's true when they say Minecraft is a horror game, because it ran straight at me, and I genuinely believed it was in my tunnel. Mm -hmm. 
the panic that washed over me was intense. I thought it was invisible and standing in front of me. Thankfully, it was outside and I was safe. All that was left was to wait for the sun to rise and carefully build my way back to safety. Next time I have a bad idea, I'm gonna need someone to politely slap the nonsense out of me. Okay, back to building an epic home. If I wanted this house to reach its full potential, I was going to need some more resources. Which meant I was gonna need to go mining. Little did I know this wasn't going to be a simple mining mission. Oh no, that would be too easy. This was going to be an adventure of epic proportions. Usually I'd be super excited to find a mine in Minecraft, but in hardcore and with basically no armor, I'll admit, there was a very real chill that went down my spine. Again, this is one of those situations where I need someone to slap the nonsense out of me. Because I decided to explore it. But there was some pretty useful loot to be mined throughout the system. As well as these chests which contained a bunch of really cool loot. A lot of which I'd never seen before. And had absolutely no idea what it was or what it did. But it was in a chest, so it probably had to be useful, right? This is the part where I'd like to lie and say that I knew where I was going, but the truth is I was completely and utterly lost. And the more I got lost, the scarier things got. But I was facing another problem. My inventory was full and I kept finding more things, including these incredibly armored zombies that took forever to kill. After clearing out a lot more enemies than I ever planned to, I decided it was time for a tactical retreat and spent the next hour running around lost until I eventually found my way out only to realize I didn't light up my base. And it was full of mobs. Father help! I worked through the rain and thought about all the times I'd nearly died and had an amazingly brilliant idea to go down into the mines again without gearing up. Again. Smart. Although this time it was a lot worse. I immediately ran into this dude and realized I had no choice but to utterly destroy him. I really wasn't expecting the game to roast him like that, but I was in full support of it. Thankfully the zombie dropped some super cool pants that made me weigh 16% less. So like, who even needs a diet? I was once again faced with the issue of all the loot and nowhere to put it. And my brain snapped trying to sort out what to keep and what to leave behind. Just when I thought things were getting better, I stumbled across this absolute nope zone and decided that I wasn't that confident just yet. Instead, I decided to backtrack and stumbled into this absolute gold mine of iron ore, if that makes sense. It was literally everywhere. I gathered up as much as I could and even found some solid iron ore blocks, which was super cool. But I had clearly used up all of my good luck and stumbled into this demon. I didn't even realize how lucky I was to survive this fight. This monster blinds you and then goes full, here's Johnny. But thankfully, even this absolutely cracked skeleton was no match for my umbrella.
super stylish hat. Which I looked absolutely stunning in, by the way. And with another boss defeated, I found a nice cozy corner to huddle up in and prepare for my next adventure. <laughs>